sipping, I'm 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 if you on my live right now, we on the sipping with Sammy. You right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you don't know sipping with Sammy, you get the annoying. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this live not gonna be live. We, we no. can't we can't do that because no. we're not showing you no footage. We this he got before, a whole right. Yeah, no, like, we don't do that. Okay, but uh, you can check out the episode once it airs. Listen, so definitely, absolutely. Check yeah. it out. Share it. Share, it, like, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The more people that subscribe, people could start getting paid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Right. You know what I mean? Right. The way that that's 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 you know what I mean. So you know that's what it right. is. People call. Oh in man, that's I had to answer look. this. I know. Hey look, hey look, See? hey look. I can't talk to you right now because I'm about to, I'm about to do the sipping with Sammy. You know, podcast. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, but hey, uh. Hey, what's going on? But, Sturdiness. How are you? This is Sipping with Sammy. I am Mr. Flash and only the one and only Sipping with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't Sipping with Sammy, you ain't Sipping right. Please get your fucking life Been together. Knowing yep. For a while. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Happy hour. All that flyness. How y'all doing, man? Like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend that you was here and that they should be here also because we here. Um, Today. Very, very dope episode, as usual. I know y'all hear me say that, but I just happen to know a lot of awesome people, man. But um, I'm going to let y'all introduce yourselves to the audience real quick. Tell them who we got in here. Hey, it's your boy, uh, Free Truth Ray. Mm -hmm. Co-host, Gas Station Radio. Mm -hmm. um, the only cannabis radio show on FM Radio, WJYM, 98.5 FM, every mm -hmm. Thursday, 7 to 9. Um, the host of the Rose Certified Show on SDM Flicks, mm -hmm. uh, Roku TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, I'm the CEO of Rose Certified Clothing, uh, the first official cannabis clothing line for the for the cannabis community. Um, I'm the first person that ever said that, so I feel like, you know how when T.I. said he the king? Yeah. Well, I have the first official clothing line for the <laughs> cannabis community. And we rolling with it. Absolutely. So Rose Certified, um, you know, Plants over pills, mm -hmm. autism awareness, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, yeah, I'm you know I'm here with the lovely host of Gas Station Radio. Talk heavy, yeah, you know I'm saying, uh, yeah. Hey everybody, <laughs> <laughs> I um, I go by the Lady Steph two one five. Uh, you know, I'm the host. Uh, the gas station radio show, but I am the behind the scenes, all hands person yeah. behind Row Certified. So, yes. dope. I like that. Um, yeah. You know, I don't take that role lightly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's very important, right? Mm -hmm. Not only am I able to be in the front, right, but I have no problem supporting my guy. So, I heard that. Um, I lead with that a lot of times. He'd be like, no, no, it's you, it's you. And I'd be like, nah, it's you. It's you, it's you, and it should be you. So, I'm going a, I'm to a head on out. I'm going to Take a seat and go smoke another L on this. Yeah, you know, I saw support. you at Son of It. You was at the back just chilling on Yeah, that. I look, this he is his thing. He was running the room. He was doing yeah. what I had to do. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, so right. some, some rooms, sometimes when we go places, uh, it's more of a a free truth room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Free and the then, truth. And then sometimes when we go places, it's a, it's a lady step room. So... You know, we definitely, right. we definitely, re, you know, read the room mm -hmm. or, you know, depending on what type of event it is. Yeah, what's necessary. Yeah, because right. I feel like, you know. The toolbox she, is the toolbox. We pull out what we need when we need it. Like, yeah. I, I do customer service at my job. So, so when I'm not at work, for some reason, I I, I can't do it in regards <laughs> to like. I can't do um, when I'm not at work. You know, properly pronunciating words and articulately mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. She is, she very well with that. But you don't mind engaging people. I definitely don't mind engaging anybody on the planet Earth. Right. You always gave me that energy. Um. Yeah. First time I remember being in a room with y'all was when Tweet had the event and you guys got honored and you actually um brought him up and right, had right. a amazing oh, story. Man. Ooh. Amazing story. Motherfuckers you was gotta, crying. Man, you got it. Got real that, that night. Oh, it was but real. I was um. Uh, yeah. I wound up hosting. <laughs> Which right, I wasn't supposed to be, but I'm in front of y'all all night. 
So I'm seeing who's doing what in the room and how everybody's mm-hmm. treating each other. And it was great mm-hmm. energy in the room. But I noticed that besides that time when you got shut down a little bit, you was talking to every fucking body. I, I <laughs> you was talking to everybody. Yes, I was. You know what I mean? And you, I made some beautiful You made the most. That ex- that's what I'm about to get to. You yes, made the I most did. out of being in that room. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. And that's important. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Listen. That's you important. You, you don't even know. I heard that. Keep you, talking. You don't even know. Oh, you going to uh, tell me off camera. <laughs> no, we, no, we get no, nah, man. I'm uh, well, I made one. I, I got to meet you. Absolutely. Thanks. As far as I'm concerned, right. you know, yeah, I've been watching good. you for a while. Um, and I'm over at 98.5. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I watch Glock Aware. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I watch everything yes. Glock Aware does. Yes, mm-hmm. we do. Because mm-hmm. no, we do. Um, <laughs> pay attention. You know, I feel like Glock Aware is the staple. And what's going on? For those of y'all that yeah. don't know, I was at Glockaway for about five and some change. So, yeah. Right. So, if you're somebody <laughs> that's trying to do your thing, right. uh, and this music thing, and this, you know, and, and, and you know, media just and mm-hmm. and media, mm-hmm. is, you know, that's a, that is that is definitely a dope way to go, especially because you can touch those guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right. You can you can touch those guys. Absolutely. I so beca- so because you can walk up to them and ask them a question and actually be at events with them and actually right. you know you what I mean? You just pop up. Facts. Pop up. <laughs> if you yeah. folk, you could just right. pop up. Right. Stop so, by the store or something. Free right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, they play music. Mm-hmm. So our show is uh, you know, we cannabis education. Mm-hmm. But we do something called the A Fit Eight, yes. where we play underground music. Mm-hmm. So we urge. So you know, is this eight songs or three and a half? It's however many songs we could get in between right. the smoke break. So what we do oh, is yeah, off right. off the right. off the camera, we we go outside and we smoke at eight. We o'clock. used to do that too. So we call it the eighth at eight, but it's really our yeah. smoke break. Facts. We used to do that shit too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So boom, so bang. While we outside smoking mm-hmm. and cutting it up, we we are, we're actually playing people's songs. So when Dope. when when somebody gives me a song, mm-hmm. I take pride in. Playing a song, right. texting them or call yo. Yeah, we on, I'm playing, playing your right song. Right. Go in your car, mm-hmm. turn it on, and mm-hmm. record listening to your song. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, as somebody that um, I do music. Mm-hmm. Growing up, who didn't want to hear their song on the radio? Right, oh. and that was something that, um, and matter matter of fact, off camera I hinted at it. We were the first live radio show on 98.5 FM. That's How about that? That's um, me, full her. Circle. Huh? I said full circle. That's yeah, me, saying. her, and two other gentlemen that we don't really associate with anymore. I but um, it was like I got Glock aware, and then I got asked to come co-host there. I was like C mic, maybe even D at the time, but I wound up being A mic in like a couple weeks, maybe a month. Okay. And then I started this shortly after, so I was on three platforms at once. Ooh, that's then, a lot. You know what I mean? But yeah. similar to what I'm sure um, y'all seen at 98.5, it's, 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 it's not a lot of them helping. It's all... Uh, like, we used to have to bring all of this shit. Them. And Ooh. set it up. What them? We used to have to them set this shit up every week. So this them, is what I'm going to say who? about that. This is how I'm going to say about that because I'm going to shout out to We told them what we needed. They never ordered it. We so, had to bring our own equipment. That's how I started this. So so what I'm going to say is what that is, I'm grateful for the opportunity yes, absolutely. because it allows me to do what I do and it allows me to get into other rooms, right? No, you you maximizing the potential you of it. You definitely maximize the potential of it. Absolutely. Um, but in doing what we do and seeing where you want to be. What's possible, if just a little bit more. What's, what's possible because I, I was saying to her that uh, 2024, I was like, yo, man, as much as I'm cool with Toucan or, you know, as much as, uh, you know, I, I see EA, I, I have a, I, I have a positive relationship with him. Okay. Me and him, we, we good. I used, he, you know, I, I worked with him at a time. I know what you mean. I'm from uptown. Got you. So I, <laughs> shout out, you know, shout out all my guys at NCO Financial. That was probably, that was, a, that was a great job. You know what I'm saying? For the collection world. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, It kept somebody like me off the streets. That's dope. Definitely kept me on the streets, That's but dope. um, you know, I'm like, man, I went, I be going to Glockaware events, and it'd be like five, six, seven shows all at one event. Mm-hmm. It'd be go this show, that show, show and this one, and right? that one, and that. And I was like, yo, man, I, I, I like that mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. when everybody see gas station, I try to go to as many events as we can. Absolutely. If it's after five o'clock when we get off work, right. we there. 
Right. That's what he told me. He said, as long as I had to fight, <laughs> no bullshit. But, I mean, in some instances... And mind you, that's perfect. It, I get off at It four. was before yeah. five, and he couldn't go. Mm-hmm. But I still attended. Right, right? she still so, attended. But see, that's what a team do. Yes. It's like, you can't make it, but we so can Scottie. still represent each other. I call myself Scotty Pippen. Yeah. You know what's funny? I love how you keep positioning yourself and how she keep trying to throw you back in front of her. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, cool. I'm, I'm Scott. I say but I'm But you Scottie. know what's going to happen, right? If I'm, the train coming, you gonna yeah. jump in front anyway. Yeah, yeah, I always do. So it's cool. But I, I say I'm, <laughs> I say I'm Scotty Pippen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, you know, you got to pass it the mic. Yeah, man, let her get busy. Do it. Do I'm, what of she course, does. of course, I'm the one that when I walk in, I'm mm-hmm. assessing. I'm hey, what's up? I'm a happy spirit. Yeah. So if you you if you say you ain't got a happy spirit, I walked into an event. This bull had this crazy ice grill on. I gave you my business card. I was like, yo, man, I had to give you my car. I like, cause you, you, you mad serious. Like you must be smoking some serious weed, right? So yeah, homie serious. start laughing. He cracking up. He like, no, that's my regular fool. face. That's my regular face. I, it's nobody. I don't think it's nobody. I can't make laugh or like engage in a positive. Mm-hmm. The fact that you make that a point is dope. Yeah, like the if you look that angry, shit, that shit break the ice. Is dope. Yeah. Like, why are you ice. angry, What's my up? man? What's right. up? How you doing? You it's happy. a good night. Hey, I'm Ray Gas. It's a radio. You want to smoke some gas? Like, also, right. like, yeah. you're not a small nigga and you don't have a goofy look about you. You look yeah. like nature, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look like you can fuck some shit up. So and for them. you to come in and give a nigga good energy, that put his shoulders down. Like, all right, I ain't got to worry about him. <laughs> so the reason why. One less nigga in the room to worry about. So the reason why I do that is because. I am 6'4", 230. And you know what you're capable of. And there was a time in life where people looked at me like I was unapproachable. See? See? So because And that wasn't through no doing of your own. No, I just was minding my business. So now you Being don't, alert so now you don't mind that. your business no more. Now so no, engaged. I don't. No, I don't. I like that, yo. I don't. I don't. When I walk in, hey, hi, what's up? Yo, I don't think you know how fire that sounds to me. Like, I knew I was intimidating and people mm-hmm. was carrying it like that. So I changed the narrative. I took yeah. the initiative. I grabbed the shit bottle. Yeah. People are so... Un- like, I tell people all the time, man. Motherfuckers get on the elevator and be ready to have a heart attack. Yeah. Just being in a box with people. You know what I mean? Not because right. of the elevator. Just yeah. like, just the the the, 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 the stale air, the being around yeah. people and stuff. Mm-hmm. So for you to be somebody to say, man... Fuck that and do, you know, go the, There are the, people the who don't 50. like talking to me go when to I'm standing 50. up. When I'm at work, it's certain people they be like, I don't oh, yeah, like it's talking it's to the, you when you stand up. The height up. thing, like. So when I be in my chair at my, you know what I mean? They, more approachable. They, they be, you know what I mean? They be like, yo, All my big talk. homies are nice guys. Like, all my homies that's They're over 6'3 like are giants, the nicest bro. dudes in the it, world. It be the Because they kind of got to be. It be the Man, dudes that's under seen. six feet. Yeah. Be they be firecrackers. Exactly. They all got the all the pistols. All, all the, the, <laughs> you all be the like, extendo yo. clips. See, this is the thing. It's like, we relax. live in a world, of course, ain't nobody trying to fight, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Not not in this city. Not right. Ain't a fight in the Chinese no. store in Philly. I yeah. know I can fight. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm 42 years old. I grew up on, let's. Let's go rumble and shake hands. Absolutely, I'm 41. I know what that's about. Yeah, let's go. You for real? You don't like? Oh, right, well, let's go. We can. Right. Oh, let's roll this L first. <laughs> that way we can look forward to this L. <laughs> Have a little something to talk about it with. Right, we gonna we all right? Boom, we looking forward to this. L. All right, come on. And then we gonna rumble. Mm-hmm. Then, and then, all right, all right, man. All right, I'm tired. And I'm about right. to say nobody Boom. nobody gets stomped yeah. out. Yeah, that's the rule. No, no, yeah, nobody down, gets stomped out. Down, 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 and we say chill. You chill. Then it's like all right, all right, man. All right. Right. Then you go like the L. You go like the L. Then it be like. Yo, man, you really, you, yo, you, you just really went through all that none of that right. shit. Yeah, we just, you was really, all that we just all that we all we did all that huff and puff, the magic dragon <laughs> shit for nothing. Correct. Nigga, like, man, I knew you was going to do that shit, so fuck it. Like, yeah. nigga wanted it the whole time anyway. It's just he had something to get off, man. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah. See if it work. Yeah, so no, but I don't. That's why we gotta teach these kids how to fight and how t- and, and boxing and I take once you comfortable boxing. with these, you don't right. feel the need to always toss them. Right. Now, you, you, gotta know, you gotta know you what weapon people. to use, though. Right. A lot of so, people using the wrong weapons right. so in the now, wrong situation. Use this. You when people and this mouthing first, mm-hmm. the right way. Mm. Yeah. You gotta put it the together. right way. Because yeah. I walk do away, them the right I, way. I walk away from a lot, as you should, and I'm and I'm glad you do. <laughs> I'm glad you do. One. Almost said I'm proud of you. <laughs> listen, listen. listen. Look, look, I can the clap button for that. <laughs> right. Hold up. So I got you. I've been I've been with my lady. I've been with my lady for. Seven plus years. Awesome. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I haven't committed a crime in seven plus years. Shake your hand at that. 
that's that's you, you pat on the back, but I got to shake her head. That's, that's, that's the gangster. I haven't I haven't committed. She the real crime. gangster. I haven't. She, she I haven't nothing. She, not she, a crime. She showed you how to be a real gangster. It's like every got to do it that way. Every everything I do is legal. It's it's time I had I had two jobs. I was going to work at Toyota, and then I was getting off washing dishes mm -hmm. at a little restaurant. Mm -hmm. I was the food boy. You had to yo, they want this. All right, I go get it and whatever. You're the runner. I know the yeah. grind. Yeah, I, I was the, the boy in the in the back doing mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. I was there when he got off the second job. You know, you know how saying? important that is. Yeah. Remember he. Yeah. Remember the boy came home and was in the kitchen and all yeah. of that, man. You need somebody to stop you from jumping in the back of that motherfucking car, yo. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, oh, in a real way. Right. So, in that, because you a man with pride and bills, take a lot, <laughs> take a lot, man. Life. Take Listen, lot, that, man. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I had to, I, I had to have two jobs at one time. Yeah. Like now, I'm good. Yeah. Thank the Lord, I'm that's good. True. I got, I got one job. Yeah, you know I mean, I can talk all that. Yeah, I pay all. I pay the bill. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, I can talk. I can talk. I can Feels talk. Good though. But it was. It wasn't Feels like good that. to it, do that without looking over your shoulder. Yes, it wasn't always like that though. Right. You know what I'm saying right. it wasn't always like that. I had the little. Pull you, over. you just got a little bill weed. No, I, I got. No, I got the cannabis card. Yeah. This is my medicine officer. That's what I'm leave saying. Me alone. You got a little bill weed. Yeah. Ain't about shit. Yeah. I, I got. I got medicinal services. Wait, look. Now I got. That, a, so I don't. Now I got a website. I got a website. I sell clothes. I don't want to. I don't sell drugs. I sell cannabis clothing. Like, people be like, "Oh, you sell?" People be like, "Oh, you got weed for sale?" I'll be like, no. "Bro, no. I ain't sold weed. I don't know how. I, and I don't even want to sell weed. I smoke it. Mm -hmm. Now right. I be around people that sell it, mm -hmm. and God knows it's tempting. Mm -hmm. Right? It is tempting. No. When you move around like us, it kind of be like, damn, I might as well just keep something on me because everybody be needing. Yeah, and plus <laughs> something in the process. Some, some, you got some wraps, you got some wood, no, you got yeah. a lighter. We gas like, station. Yeah, and we roll certified. Like so, so we got the diamond tester for weed. You got the 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 the, the, the you got the little doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, Yes. So I can I can test your weed mm -hmm. and the tell you the, the, the tell you the TAC percentage, mm -hmm. and we can also grade your cannabis. I don't want to know. You might make me smack the, my homie. So C no, I that's the no, no, that's no. the. Purpose. I ain't gonna lie. I got good batch this time. Hold on. No, 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 that's, <laughs> the, that's the that's the purpose because when we okay okay well when I was growing up, mm -hmm. I sold tree and it was. It was in a clear bag, and you That's smell, it. and you. Well, now they sell tree in the all these little bags, glow in the dark bags. bags. So now oh, they man. selling you the bag and not the tree, because yep. the tree that's in it be be yeah. dirt, yeah. Bro, but the bag be good. You nice speaking to the choir, bro? I stopped buying weed off of names a long time ago. Yeah. I look at this shit. I ask you the price. And if it's worth it, I buy it. Cause y'all done fucked the names up a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. they don't selling, even know. Now you selling me brands of shit that the white man on. You selling me Skittles. Yeah, yeah. You making up names? Yeah, right. they just making like, up names. Come this on, is bro. ridiculous. This yeah. let me just okay. Yeah. It look good. All right. You know what that shit sound like yeah. to me? Snickle Fritz. Let's, it sound Snickle like Fritz. the Snickle Fritz. You sell listen, Snickle Fritz. Cut I'll go out. drink to that. Drink to that. Cut it out. Listen, I'll be like, yo, can y'all stop making up names of this shit? I, like I said, I'm 42. Mm -hmm. Names. I go and when I was growing up, we had Hayes, Hydro, Comba, Arizona. You know, we had, it was like a couple of them. When you was growing up, you had it was, Arizona, it was, Comba, and Dro. And Dro. You got Hayes when you was damn near grown, bro. I was. You was 17, 18 You're years correct. old when You're, Purple came out. I was. Because I remember when the Hayes hit, my homegirl from the Bronx had 15s on campus, and I used to get them for dimes. Listen, you ain't smoke, never lie. I used to smoke three L's of that shit a day because that was all I could afford and it was skimpy. How about this? And I used to light it, put it down. I, mean, I would light the L three times. I'm from Nice 10. Look, like I called my homie times. and told him, yo, I fucks with y'all. I love y'all. But it's me and the purple from here on out. <laughs> I'm going to let you know. I'm going to say this. Yeah, again. I'm not sharing. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not sharing. I'm, I'm from Nice Town. Yeah. Uh -huh. I understand. Told y'all from up We, we, we. I'll, if, if there's somebody that had the, that D before Nice Town, Please talk to me off camera because I don't believe you. I wasn't in the city. Oh, you talking about Sour? Yes. I wasn't in the city at the time. I don't yeah, know. I'm saying? I don't, you know. I'm not a good gauge. I was in Baltimore. No, oh no, because people who know, they yeah, know. Yeah, leave it in the comments. You know, shout out to. Uh, shout out to Baltimore. Sh I used to live down there. Listen, shout out to the guys that yeah. brought it to my hood. I don't, you know, I ain't. Yeah, we ain't got to do all yeah. that. No, but they still um, got some gas and body more. Because listen, murder land, listen so. the D, when that D hit the city. I'm out there all the time. When that diesel hit the city, yeah, cuz. different. Different. Smell it around. I'm talking about you could only get 50s. 
Mm-hmm. Well, no, mm-hmm. it was it was only fifties. I do up. remember that. Fifties and up. If you I ain't had fifty, that. and this was a time when people was going half on a nick, so certain people couldn't even get that fifty. You know what turned me out? I love sour. Headband had me open. Headband had me on some like shit. It was different. I was like, y'all keep talking that sour S- shit. Straightforward. Yeah. Cause and that's what's crazy. My plug used that sour and headband. But he would run out the sour. I'd be like, thank you. You still got some headband <laughs> right. left? Like right. you idiots keep buying the other shit. How about the right. best weed I ever smoked in my whole life? Only smoked it one time. Can't can't even me too. find it. It was called Dark Knight. Well, mine's was wow. called Canadian this Skunk. The, name. the mm. name's just like Canadian iconic. Skunk. Then watch this. I'm a t- my daughter birthday coming up December fifteenth. I smoked it on the fourteenth at night time. Right. Mm-hmm. I go in the crib. I'm so high. I laid in the bed with jeans and Timberlands on. Mm-hmm. Made my cursing me all the way out. Mm-hmm. You did it wrong. Wake up. Gotta go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm. So boom. She had the big bag ready. All that. Mm-hmm. I'm on Roosevelt Boulevard. Ride five miles an hour. Oh my god! On the way to the hospital. My baby mom drove herself to the hospital pregnant. <laughs> So, so we get to Jefferson. Uh-huh. I don't know why she picked Jefferson. Like, we drive past Temple, Hahnemann. Remember Hahnemann? A we drive past all woman, everything. A woman knows where she want to get birth. We go, so, we, boom, we go to the, uh, what is it called? Jefferson. Boom, we pull up on the side, on the curb, because you know you can't even do that. Yeah. Boom, pull up on the curb. Dang, I get out. Now I grab her. I'm, you know what I mean? Oh, now, you, now, now you're useful? Yeah, I was useful. I was useful at that point. He's responsive. I was. I got her, boom, then bang, got her in the uh, wheelchair, boom, we roll up, say, bang. So we in there. So uh, they about to do the epidural. So you, you got to be still. So you got to hold her, hold her hands and stuff, right? So I'm holding hands. My hands like this. I'm shaking like a mug. You shaking her. The doctor said, yo, somebody get him some water. Because I was, I was about to pass out. Yeah, you was on your way. So boom, they give me some uh, grape juice. Water, water. Shakes, My mom and them come up the thing later. They she open is up funny the, with the ad libs, yo. She's killing me. She opened up the. They open up the elevator. My mom said, "Ooh, it smell like weed up here." Oh shit! The nurse says in there. It's your man. It's My it's mom your man. says. It's your man. It's mama. Gotta be my oh, that's son. Crazy. It's your man smell so like. So remember they had the flight jackets back in the day? They took my flight jacket and I, for some reason, I had on a long sleeve t shirt. I don't even know if they sell them now. I had a long sleeve white tee on. They took my clothes and put it in another room because it couldn't be in you the same room my man. with, you with her. You about to have a baby high. Canadian skunk, cuz. Bro, I, my the story is going to have the doctor I ever high. smoked in my life. I never seen it again. My story, I'm still searching for it. My story the different. Doctor. I bought like a half a pound, right? Of this shit. And that shit so quick, right? Back when I was doing weight, right? Okay. But but the first time I smoked it, I was on my way to work. Like I had a job in Chipotle on the ki- in the kitchen, so I blow on the way to work. Cause once you get over that grill, ain't nobody smell none of that no, shit. No. You know what I'm saying? Smell so like food. Smell like food. I burn like a third of the L on the way to work. <clears throat> I get to work, it's ninety something degrees. Ooh. They call me outside for a fucking meet, and I'm in trouble. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody done snitched on you. One of my Uh-oh. coworkers is in my meeting. Uh-oh. I'm looking at this motherfucker like, Wait oh a yeah, minute. you tell him. Dick eating boy too, like you know what I mean. Backbiting boy too, be talking to me about everybody boy. Like I already wasn't feeling it. Blue oh. Falcon. So I'm like, cause I'm like, you don't even know me. I just got here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's sitting there, and they like, you didn't do this, that, and the third. And the whole time they talking, I'm high as shit, and I feel like I'm melting. And when they finished talking, I think they expected wow. me to like argue with something. Be mad, right? Yeah. I said y'all right to respond. I didn't right. do that. I said y'all know who y'all had trained me. He never showed me none of that. Showed me where it's at. I had no problem doing it. Uh. Went back in work, looking at the ball like you fucking nut. You could have told. You could have told me, bro. Ah, uh, you, you know thought what I'm you, you thought you now, but you got yourself now. Now you a nut. Now watch this. So then I go back in there. Mm-hmm. So I'm in Chipotle kitchen. You got to cut cilantro. Hey, you know what I mean? You got to cut a lot of cilantro when you first get on shift. Whole I, lot. Look, like, I like that guacamole And cilantro now. hard as shit to cut because it gets wet and sticky. Yes, so you got to cut it in a way where it stays mm-hmm. dry. There's a whole technique to this shit. Mm, yep. You got to cut sideways, spin it. Cut sideways, spin it. Like, it's a whole thing. Oh, yep. I'm cutting. I feel like I'm doing this. My man is like, bro, you all right? I said, I'm good. What's up? He said, you're standing there going like this. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. My, I, I just got out of the meeting with my bosses like that. I'm like, I ain't even know I'm this roasted. So I get off work. Okay. Fast forward to get off work, right? 
I'm on my way to AC, meet my lady. You know what I'm saying? It's my birthday. I get on the highway. It took a long time to get to the highway from my gig. When I get on the highway, I spark the L back up. Smoke another third of the L. It's roach by then. It's all Bro, old. I got about this much left. I sit it down. I'm like, I can't do it. Got THC, I get the roll in the AC, bro. I am dipping. I mean, like, dipping hard. But I'm so close to AC, and I'm by myself. You know what I'm saying? Damn. She already got the room and all that. My homies called my phone because it's me and my little cousin's birthday is the same day. And my, my, my homie was with my cousins, and they all called me. Yo, ugly, happy fucking birthday, you ugly. But they woke me up, bro. That's the only way I made it to the hotel. Wow. I, I couldn't fathom, even after he told me I was cutting in slow motion, I couldn't fathom this weed was that fucking strong, bro. Listen, when I opened <laughs> the when I, when he, when first off, when he got in the car with the weed, my man, it looked it like kryptonite, cuz. This shit was dark. No, this shit was some. This shit looked like kryptonite. You then when he opened, but... no. Then when he opened it, we was already in the. Uh, we was already uptown. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, shout out my guys on uh, what's that? Fayette. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Fayette. <laughs> All right, so then you know yeah. my, my guys. Oh, oh rest right. in peace, O and them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They went, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, my guy, my my one of my homies yeah, went to uh, the street. He went to he went to Parkway, so he went to school with them with those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so that's how I know some guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to say you name some you name some shit. My my man went to school with, with my as I said, rest in peace. Oh, mm-hmm. Dom. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And uh, we was already up there with them, and they already and they are, we already had some. some you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then my man get in the car. And when he opened the bag, what we was already smoking, we ain't smoking no more. Let me ask you wow. a question. Wow, that's y'all crazy. Was in the, y'all was in the in the hub part of the block? Mm-hmm. The day with a little basketball court at, yeah, with a little dead end part at. Where they used to sell the fluffy dimes at. Yep. So y'all was smoking the fluffy dimes. Yeah. And he pulled out that shit. <laughs> My West Philly niggas used to come uptown. Grab like ten of them, so, like go said, back down west and bring like them I'm down. To, listen, listen, I'm from the town, <laughs> and my man was cool with them. So whenever it used to get hot or whatever, we wanted to chill. We used to, and my uh, shout my out man, my man Titty back then, man. My man, oh his birthday, he a tourist, and my friend, uh, shout out my guy Herb, because my my guy Herb put me on them guys. That's my guy. Be careful, your mic on the table. You know what I'm saying, and uh, right. he would he a tourist too. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so, you know, they used to uh, celebrate their birthdays and stuff okay. like that. And, uh, yeah. I'm about to say, why we talk about these niggas' signs? <laughs> no, no, because that, they used, that's, and that's how I used to, like, be around them. And mm-hmm. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, tis the, man. Tis the season to turn up, so then you Yeah, wait. man. And them, I that know, mean, that, that mean. Shout out to the Uptown, man. This, you know, I used to, I used you to You been in like some that. caravans if you was rolling around with them. Y'all been 12 cars of that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boys used to roll deep, and I used to like them. When they used to go out, all of them used to be like all of them used to have fresh like mm-hmm. I like I like I like the day uh how they, move, yeah. they squad how they move. Mm-hmm. It used to make me and my homies move like that. So when we go out, yo, everybody get the fresh lay or we all would be on the same level of freshness. I'm glad you said that, bro. Yeah. Cause that's how uptown niggas got a bad rep. They was like they just all pretty boys. Like no, no niggas was getting no, money was no. on some fly shit. No, like, they was so I'ma let you We no. didn't want to be grimy. Yeah, it was <laughs> like I didn't, wasn't I, with I, it. I was, I'm from Nice Town. We didn't we didn't want to be grimy neither. Yeah. We got but some you know grime. some pockets of the city where it was just like they dress like where they from. Yep. And it's yeah. not a positive thing. No. 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 <laughs> I'm cool. I no, we I used to go to parties with them and if they was fly, I used to want to be turn fly. Up. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I enjoy We used to be the youngest niggas in the parties, first ones buying bottles. Like we was playing the game. So listen, I ain't gonna <laughs> hold you. supposed to be there. So because of my mans and them rolling around with dudes like that, by, I ain't even no drinker. I go in the party. Shout out my guy, Will. We go in the party. This one, the song, Wipe Me Down, first came out. <laughs> he he go and he buy all of us a bottle. So I got mm-hmm. a bottle in my hand. Mm-hmm. Wipe Me Down came on. I don't even like that song. Psst. I wrote you like Wipe Me Down. That's hold on, hold on. I'm about to put that on the board. <laughs> I, 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 Cause I'm, um, she like after that I'm day, on. that was that's one of my favorite songs of all time. Mm-hmm. And and I ain't even talking lyric. I'm talking about song. Yeah, but that's what happens Thanks. when Shoot. a lot of shit that people don't like. They haven't been in that vibe. Like one of my favorite songs to this day in the club is 
I be feeling like the man when I walk through. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. Because I've been standing on the couch many a nights when that song came on, and it feel like the wind start blowing in that bitch, bro. Like, my shirt just start flapping. Like, it just, down came it just on. feel right. And, like, where we was at, they mm-hmm. was, like, wiping us down, and it was, mm-hmm. I felt like a star, bro. I ain't know a bottle could do that. No, it's different back then. So, back then, every, back so then me and my different. friends, we was called the Bottle Boys. I knew it. I Bro, every time we went to a party, no, I, I got to get a bottle. I was about of to mo- say bottle boys when you said he bought everybody a bottle. I was about to bottle say bottle boys. That's bottle boys. crazy. Bottle, yeah, me and shout out his. I told my y'all, yeah, y'all get it, you dig it. I see a lot of shit that you see. Bottle boys used to be in transit mm-hmm. and all that. They used to have nightlife yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, before all this social media, all that. I the remember people bottle used to, boys. They used to fo- follow you around with oh, the. Oh, I'm pissed that I ain't say it. I really was about to say bottle boys. Me bro. and my like, friends, that's what we called ourselves. No, that's a fact. Because that's a fact. We never went nowhere without a bottle. Because when you was in the club with the bottles, you you Shit got all the love. Mandatory. It became mandatory. It became mandatory, yo. Okay. If you I got a, spoiled. If you had like a Heineken or something, you was looked at like no. You were, that's the problem. Not, Everywhere I go, niggas will buy enough bottles for the table, the section, whatever have you. I be going to the bar like, let me get six Heinekens because I drink beer. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to just get bottle. one beer because y'all done bought all these fucking bottles. So if anybody else wants to partake in some beer, right. I got, but it, but I look like the weirdo. But it's like, no, I need a I beer to watch this with a fucking whole bottle. Right. I saved my money. Kids just a drink any of them. I saved my I money piss. just to buy That's at least two bottles. All the time? Yes. And you weren't drinking them? Yeah, I was drinking them. One time I, I used to not drink my champagne bottles. I used to be like, if they don't sell cognac bottles, I'm not buying one. I niggas would still buy me a bottle. cuz. Mm. That he didn't buy. But he was flying for some chicks. And he poured it on the chick. Been there. Chick was bad. You can't say that. He young. We had to pay Been the there. guard. I was we the had to pay one. the guard extra money to let him the, in. Yeah. I, I was I was the young one. I was at a bachelor party and I drew. But yeah. Yeah. That was the time. I'm I like, said Ronnie, what you doing? I said yeah. something to shorty. She said, I ain't get mad at you when you poured all that shit over me. I was like, you right, you right, you right. We smoking in the, we, we smoking in the club. We smoke one L, security guard bowl, he ain't say nothing. We lit the second L. When I tell you this man was moving like Lawrence Teller towards us. Oh, my God. And the way the way I uh, and passed and tucked it, when he ran up on me, ran through my hands, I'm like, oh, I ain't got all around. He like, I just seen it. I'm like, what you seen, seen what? What you talking about? So you smoking that L, young blood. Hate you niggas. You know he seen you smoke it. Dog. Or she, she wouldn't share the ass. That man looked like he could pick me up with one hand. I was like, I was mad super skinny. Like, I wasn't, you know, whatever size I am now. I was like, I don't got it. Scared to death. I had a bouncer move the mother. Like, I had, I'm in a club, and I'm at the point where we've been here so long, I really need to burn. And I run into my man, and he burned. The L look like that. I'm like, let me catch it real quick. Right. Just need to do so get my right, right, get, right. get my balance. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm yeah. drinking, drinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So right. he like, hold up. This nigga hit that shit like twelve times oh, real quick like and passed me a roach. Like Snoop. Yeah. Uh-huh. He swing me the roach. Uh-huh. So now he done made it hot where we standing at before he handed it to oh, me. Man, so now I gotta crowded. move around. You know what I'm saying? So I'm walking towards the bar. I hit this shit like two, three times. It's damn near gone. I toss it towards the dance floor. Security boy rushed me. Push me, get off. I'm like, yo, what oh, is wow. you doing? Same shit you was on. I'm like, yo, what is you doing? This nigga went to the dance floor, moved everybody out the fucking way, and felt some shit smaller than that. Oh, like Pineapple Express in the oh, street. Oh, like Pineapple yes, Express. Yeah, like and went to throw me out the club. I'm like, bro, don't touch me. I'm walking. Like, it's cool. Like, bro, like. Yeah, like, listen. But I, I was right, so ready to smoke. I wasn't even tripping about not being in the club no more. Like, right. I'm but yeah. for all that, you just blew my little two hits, dickhead. Right. Yeah. I'm going to go roll a real This one. nigga's scavenging okay. hunting for the fucking roach, bro. He made niggas move off the dance floor. I told you, bull came at me like Lawrence Taylor. Them niggas don't be playing. He was like, I got shark. one of them niggas fired by accident one time. I was like, <laughs> like, oh, I'm, all right, you're right, bro. And we ain't do nothing but go in the bathroom and smoke. But this the twist though. You gotta be careful with that shit. You know what I mean? Well nice. now it's different now. This no, I'm talking not about. Not you, the them. You know what I mean? Nice we swarm the bouncers. So I'm gonna let like, you know. You said you go into the party with twelve cars full of niggas. Yeah. We outnumber security already yeah. when we hit the door. Yeah. If you touch somebody that's not supposed to be touched, you're not going home. Now that is yeah. now that is a thing. It ain't enough for y'all. I was That's just crazy. Talking about security it's not on enough the show. for y'all. Mm-hmm. That that is crazy. Yeah, we just was I was talking just about security. We, we How have security made, searched. She violating got, she all my privacy. I Hold said, on. "Ooh, what I got, I got? One for you. Wait a minute." Uh, 
I'm gonna say I'm gonna because I'm on your show. So, uh, a female from the LGB close. community. I'm gonna be correct. Stay mm-hmm. on. We ain't trying to get you canceled. We want you to get this break. <laughs> a female from the LGBT community. The way she grabbed uh, me. Um, I had to look at her like, "Oh, do I know you?" I, <laughs> as a man, I I felt violated. I I I was like, <gasps> like I I was like, <gasps> like. Oh God, you're you're touching me, man. Look. Like I've never been, and and it and you and I'm a man, and you know that's a female. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you, right? You y'all know what I mean? Wands. So your brain yeah. kind of, you know what I mean? It's weird. Know, y'all need some. Yeah, wands. it's like okay, that's a girl touching me, but no, no, no. You not so you you not supposed to do that. That's not even legal. That's Excuse what me, you security just, agent. You just you just got first thing are sexually You just got to feel. She just got to feel. She fe- first thing I'm she saying is feel. that's me. Once you keep going, you drawing, motherfucker. Yo, I'm trying to tell you. I, I couldn't even think of the own. Um, I was like, <gasps> you saw that? <laughs> I took a deep breath because I was. It was. You know how like stuff be going in like slow mo time, but like it's moving. Like you know how I mean. Like I you just, might be in this. Yeah, that's time. what stopped you from choking it. Uh, man. Okay, well, so whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever dimension I was in at that second, mm-hmm. it was like it was the weed. It was, it was the weed. Was the this weed. is a female, so nah, this is not a man. So I don't got to hook this you know, bull. You think about it, but you don't react. But this you is a like, female. I should have. Bop the hell out this lady, but, but I yo, get to lady, I don't think you allowed to grow me like that. Like you just That's you like like, mm, like no ma'am. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? It was weird. Like, she go home every night, tell her girlfriend about the line. Yeah. None that security guard strap bigger than mine. Never mind. Oh. I don't even get the Ooh. listen. <laughs> I ain't like how she was touching my like like she did it more than one time. I was I, I did a like I said <gasps> I, I don't know what you were you know saying for. like like I ain't gonna lie like you ain't feel it the first time. It's not even just that though. Like and women don't understand this. I walked yeah. in the club one night. Yeah, that was weird. And within fifteen minutes, three different girls grabbed my dick. And it wasn't the best fucking feeling in the world. Oh, it wasn't like flattering. It was weird as shit. That don't feel it was it, especially as maybe girls expect their ass to get grabbed in the club. A nigga don't expect to just get handled on a random and I don't even know who hand that was. But I knew they was women because I'm walking past groups of women. Yeah, you see. But they playing got the guy you. game. They doing the, the niggas at the Greek joint, like somebody smack her ass and dip back in the crowd, like. Oh, wow. that's what I'm trying to tell you. As a dude, that's a that's, that's a little weird. Nobody it does yes, that to do. Weird. That's weird. Yeah. That's, that's invasive. Like, why is you grabbing pipes out here, man? You ain't no plumber. And chicks would be like, so Get why you ain't go see? Why you I ain't know. go see who wanted it? No, cause I don't want her. Yeah, like. Yeah, you, you just not. That's not sexy. Yeah, that ain't. I don't like that. You just violated yeah. me. I, now I like the girl that didn't. Bitch, buy me a drink first. <laughs> Let me see what you look like first. Right? Yeah. Buy me a drink first. Don't see, be... some men don't have that. Like, problem. don't just pull my hair. Neither. So hold up, ooh. Don't be still. I hands. know we get mad off of, but check this out because no, I'm loving talking? this vibe. So, Shit, there you are gave all your resume at the top of the show. We get to talk. <laughs> so listen, hold up, I, hold up, look, look, www.goldcertified.com. <laughs> I, you know, at the, on the radio, we gotta do drops. Yep. Yeah, you know I mean, every, you know what I mean. Every so yeah, 15. go to www.rollcertified.com. If you're not roll certified, go get certified. You smoke weed. Everybody that smokes weed, they need a certification. So mm. go get certified. Go get a bong bunny, bud bunny. If you got kids, I got autism awareness clothing for kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you against uh, perks and zannies, I got plants over pills. Mm-hmm. We need to give Eric all them Jones out there in Frankfurt. I've done a lot of work with the autistic community and the spectrum, um, and alike, and um, yeah, yeah. So yes, you know what I mean. So you know, that's that's major to me that y'all that y'all got that, and um, yeah. I, I have but, autistic but, children. You was in the middle of your story. We so you know, so you know, I'm gonna give. I, I had to do the drops. Yeah. So you listen, good, you good, you good. we live in a world right where 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 like a lot of females, they just be thinking that um, guys, they just we just like anything, right? And there are guys that when they was corny growing up, then they were smart, right? So then they went on to get good jobs, Mm -hmm. which allowed them nice clothes Mm -hmm. and funding. Mm -hmm. But they're corny still. Mm -hmm. So those dudes might want to smash anything because... Or pay pay anything. Yeah, because they're not used to attention. And they're not used to using their fucking vocabulary to get women. Right. So there we go. But there are people 
who been, you know, if if you if you if you're comfortable with yourself, then you can say you've been handsome since day one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You've been a like huggable, lovable type of guy since day one. Ah. Yeah, you know I'm saying you've been a you know the girls liked you. You mm-hmm. was cool. Mm-hmm. You was you was a cool guy. You sat at the cool table at school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People liked you. Mm-hmm. Now guys that sat at the cool table at school, you got a chance to say no, no, yeah, absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. No, no, yeah. You got a chance. Matter of fact, y'all, or 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 that. Right. If you was in third grade, you could say y'all. But they'd be all best friends. But people be thinking that you know what I'm saying that <laughs> that, that people grade? that guys That's it is, ended in like fifth. I was devastated. Is like, I'm in trouble. You, you, and you. And it's like no, I don't like you because of this. I don't like you because of that. There are dudes with standards. Right. Just like how I don't want to smoke dirt. I don't want to. I you know there are many. I'd rather standards. beat my dick than trick. And if she don't suck, then we don't fuck. I mean, like, that was a fat, ugly motherfucker told y'all that. A fat dude said that. <laughs> he, was, he, he was confident. He was definitely char- charismatic than a motherfucker, though. Shout out my guy, House. I hung with a dude that was big like Biggie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me you too. couldn't tell him nothing. Me too. That's all I'm going to say. My like, God. like you, like, I felt like, you know, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm sharp or whatever. You can't tell me. Sure. Listen, because you know when you got the fresh lay or the fresh ball D in your fresh Rest in peace, Kyle. My guy brother was big and black. He went on like 10 primes. Wow. My man, house. I thought he went on a prom every day when I was young. Like, God damn, nigga, we up here again. Another one? Another one? Yo. Wow. And my man, house, you should be like, I don't like her. Mm hmm. No. I I mean, I like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not my vibe. and, and, And you thinking. Oh, because he fat, he could nah, stop playing. Man. That man was together. You know what I mean? My my OG was getting paper, will fresh, whatever, whatever. When you a yeah, big, standards. When you a big nigga, you gotta pay. It ain't no getting clothes for cheap. It ain't no getting no little car. It ain't no <laughs> no no. Like my big my my six, no my my old head definitely paid like he yeah, yes he did. My six six yes. homie, we was yes, on our way. Did. Right, we, yes, we went he to did. the breakfast store one That's day. And I, had, I got a 6'6 six, six homie that, like, when I order a cheesesteak, he get a cheesesteak and a hoagie and finish them joints by the time I finish my cheesesteak. So one mm. day, I'm like, all right, mm. I'm going to pay for breakfast because he always be looking out and he was driving his day. So I'm like, I got breakfast. But I didn't tell him. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to pay for it. This nigga ordered, like, three platters for breakfast. I, I started rethinking this shit before I fucking got to the register. Like, but he ate all that shit. My and OG. it wasn't because I was paying, so it was what it was. Like it cost to be a big nigga, man. My OG took me to an all you can eat, <laughs> eat place, right? You know how they got appetizers? Mm-hmm. Wow. His appetizers before he ate, I was like, bro, yeah. I, I would have just, I would have been full. That's, it, the that's it, right there. That was my guy. But <laughs> see, my aunt was funny. I told somebody the other day. I said, my aunt would be like, yeah, we should get some shrimp. And tell the people in the back of the market to fry shrimp while we shopping and shit. Next thing you know, we walking around the market eating all the goddamn shrimp before she go home and make dinner. Like, what are we doing, yo? What are we doing? Yeah. What are, yeah, what no, are we man. doing? Confidence. Confidence. Certain, certain people are confident. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. there's a lot of unconfident guys. So when a, when a female be, hey, hey, then yeah, they biting. You know what I mean? Or they got a girl and it's, they, they, they easy to be swayed from their relationships and stuff like that. Because they, they really don't got confidence. Because confident dudes don't do that. And like on the woman's side, it's like a lot of women put everything into how they look or those three things. I, no. I, could, I could clean and suck dick or whatever they have you. After 35, none of that matters. And it's like, bro. I'm going to tell you. If you, like, you know how girls matters. like to compare your new girl to them if they your ex? Uh-huh. It's like whatever he wound up with is a result of the fact that probably what you put him on to. This motherfucker probably said, yo, I don't need that. I need a real woman. Hmm. I don't need a headache. You see what I'm saying? And then as you get crazy, it's like, no, stop putting everything into the fact that you you can wear heels and sneakers. Nobody fucking cares where it does. So, so when you're over you 35, it's about and, your, and I, we just was talking about this, it's about your character, your personality, and, uh, and your do, work ethic. Do we get along? And and that's that. In real life, like, can I come home and not be like, do I feel? Why am I can, so you know I'm, how many years we go growing up thinking that that's the way? Like, I'm with my I'm girl just, all the time. I'm gonna just have this headache. No, listen, I'm what? with her all the time, and they be like, "Yo, you with your girl all the time? How y'all do that? 
I said, well, she's not just my girl. Oh, I'm a hybrid. That's my, that's my girl and my homie at the same time. She I'm, a real one. I'm a hybrid. You see what I'm saying? But I knew <laughs> that that's the type of person that I, you know what I'm saying? That's going to balance you out. Right. Yeah. See, I don't go certain places because I'm with my girl. If there's going to be drama. Well, I'm going to take her around. I'm not, I, it's my duty as a man to not take my girl. I'm not taking my girl into that. No. So if you see me and her, mm -hmm. that's an automatic no drama zone. Absolutely. Diggo gas station. Mm -hmm. so this is no drama Lori zone. Lori always say something similar about what LL told him on tour. Because you know LL mm -hmm. is that nigga. Right. And he like, Lori was like, yo, niggas used to be fucking off doing whatever. All these women wanted LL. And LL would go straight to his own, his room with his wife and his kids and all of that. He's like, why you always got your wife with you? Like, you tripping. You know Nori Young and Wild at the time. Mm -hmm. LL said... I keep my wife with me because I've never gotten in trouble when my wife was with me. Right. He said, I have never gotten in trouble with my wife with me. You don't hear no scandals about L. Right. None of that crazy shit. Right. Because he had his wife with him. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And I think that that's a jewel. That's. That's a jewel. If you get in the shit with your woman, then you, y'all even got to stay in the house and pick new partners. Listen. Like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all running around the streets tearing shit up together, if what you the can't, fuck is this? A video you, game? If you can't be cool, <laughs> you double be cool with both of us, <laughs> right. you can't be cool with none of us. Right. Like, we go places and it's certain females that they might be all smiley, smiley in my face. Uh -huh. But if they don't show her no respect. respect, then it's like, oh, all right, you already let me know your hand and now I can't really bang with you like that. Uh -huh. That's just like, we might go somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And it might be it might be certain dudes that you know they might be you know and what I do is and what, I, and what we both do is mm -hmm. let's say I see that right mm -hmm. you know what I do I walk away mm -hmm. because my lady can handle herself. She around play. Yeah. If she see it, I, I can step away because I can I can handle myself. We ain't. We we got businesses. We public figures. Mm -hmm. We we ain't making no 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 scenes in no publics mm -hmm. over no over no over no caddy. Mm -hmm. We we definitely we don't get down like that. I explain that to people all the time. We definitely ain't do, we 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 a brand. Mm -hmm. We we grown ups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We ain't got to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't I like you. I know I'm not going home. With you. I'm getting in the car with her. We're me and her going home together. I don't mm -hmm. care what you say. And I'm never gonna be able to call you because I'll be with her all the time. I, you there is no time. So <laughs> there and, is no time. <laughs> so unless you want to do business, right. and if you want to do business, guess what? You gotta go do business with her. So how are you? How can we help you? Yeah, you, 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 if you if you really so this is rendered. this is this is a thing I do. Right. People that talk to me and only me sometimes, I'm gonna let out a little secret on your show. Go ahead, I'm listening. That mean they full of shit. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because I send all the business to her. Mm -hmm. So if you cool with Lady Steph, mm -hmm. I know you about your business. And I could gauge things that way too, with a slight exception. Because and it's certain it is a it's it's certain only only it's certain people that's they you know but for the for the general but if we handling business nine times out of ten if it's not booking then you you're going you're going to have to deal with her you see what I'm saying um but if it's booking related in certain other little instances people really just deal with me because she does so much of the other shit oh it's definitely yeah. things I handle but like I said yeah for the most part of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you ain't dealing with her on certain form, like, yeah. yo, oh, you want to be a guest on the show? Like, say I go to people, yeah, you want to be a guest? Oh, you, but when you really want to be a guest? I'll be, yo, who run the Instagram? <laughs> she run, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, you know, oh, you need an email or something? All right, boy. <laughs> you, need the, you need the business proposal set out to you? Fucking you, Batman. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I'm just the... You know, I'm the face of the company. Mm -hmm. But if you if you about your business, so that's, are we. That we definitely about our business. But I cipher through that with the with my chattering. I tell people all the time that um, all I do is talk. I just talk. <laughs> all I do is talk. Bro. I talk. So so, but 
Say I go up to somebody handing my business card. And I'm, yeah, do, 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 do. And they, uh, do, 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 do. And they telling me what they do. And I'm like, man, you you sound like you. Hey, babe. Boom, boom, boom. Then I spin off. Yeah, that's my twist, too. I spin right off, and I'm over to the next person. Because I know she over there. Boom. They didn't they didn't change the numbers. They didn't got the emails. It's funny. And, I had somebody boom, ask you know me, say, yo, every time I ask you for some, every time I say I got to talk to you, you tell me I got to talk to her. It was a guy, though, to be clear. And I was like, do you want to talk about on camera or do you want to talk about behind the camera? And he was like, behind the camera. There you go. Why would you talk to me about that? Right. You're going to have me in the middle of your conversation. And I understand some people call themselves being respectful, but when you overly respectful, now I'm worried about you. So. Because now you don't trust yourself. So when do so when certain people, <laughs> so when certain people say that to me, that's a, yeah, you know, I'm being respectful. And, eh. You don't have to say that. Being yeah. respectful is just being yeah, respectful. Just being respectful. But if you say, if you got to tell me, hey, you don't and say hi, to, well, well, you know, I'll be respectful. No, now just you said that now I got the, I got a little boom, boom, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you might be, you might be cutting your eye a little bit. Get you know what I'm saying? Get a little check mark. All right, you know what I mean? You know, I ain't mad because when, when you, I just seen something. What the lady said, she said, you know, safety and whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm, we got to put the commercial at the beginning of this, yeah. by the way. I forgot to do the drop. I'm, I'm, I'm overly, I'm overly confident. My, my father, I only had one, I don't, you know, ladies I dealt with. My, my dad said no. My, this, this the one right here. Oh, shit. My pop. Yeah. My pop said, yeah. He needs somebody like you because she the opposite of me. She mad, calm. You know what I mean? She, she got some sense. She nice. <laughs> she be caring about stuff. Not to stuff. degrade my brother. He got I sense be, too. I be I'm caring. Just yeah, she be caring about stuff that I don't even be wanting to care about. Like, oh my God, I don't care about that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's life, right? So she nice. She has consideration. You know what I'm saying? She's real considerate. Being considerate is half the fucking battle, ain't it? I'll, yes, because I'm a, half the I, fucking. You was fucking up all this time because you weren't being considerate. Aggression is. <laughs> you know, I'm. A, I'm. I'm. You know. I'm aggressive. That's selfish. So you know. That's self service. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you, fucking with you. No, I, listen. I ain't. I ain't. You know what I mean? That's self service. So you know, she be all nice and whatever, and uh, you know that that, I, that that make you know that make me. Be like that. That's back to the balance, man. I get to think of dope ideas like TV shows and stuff and highlighting people and, you know what I mean? So, now now I get, now, now I'm doing music. Like, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, you got features from all my homies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah how about that? I did a song yeah. with everybody around me. I'm like, what the hell just happened? Right. You just popped well, up and got everybody on well, record. Well, well, Son of 215, <laughs> that's my man. The first day I met Homie, he was at 1122 Studio. I met him when he was 13. Every artist that, <laughs> that had that show that was at that event that day, mm-hmm. he walked. I told him I was, yeah, I'm 98.5 FM, boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. I came in with Sister Talia. Mm-hmm. He said, you with Talia? You 98.5? Mm-hmm. He walked us up the steps. Yep. He made every single oh. artist sit down with us. We did it. I, That's yo, what you do. yo, That's I ain't even gonna do. hold you. I was, I was, I was, I was nervous. Oh yeah, was. yeah, you was sweating bullets. People, people be thinking that. Like now, I'm used to it. But when I first started, like people thought we was, I was some some type of professional, professional. interview guy. I'm like, yo, dog, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm happy you here. Matter of fact, all I'm right. a, you're gonna talk more to me. I'm like, yo, I'm setting you up right now. You about to do all the talking so I can get in shit. Bro, I got you tossed were. right into this shit. Like, I ain't... I, I got tossed into it, too. And it was like, I know what you mean, but see, now, and this is what I had to stop doing. I just started drinking. Like, I had to stop drinking as much early on because you wind up having a long-ass day of interviews and your last 30, you out of wow. your mind when it, it should only That's be so like nice. your last two. So, yeah, man, my guy's son. <laughs> he last five. Like, then he came to the station, like... And oh, yeah. every time I yeah. come around him, he just, yo, boom, energy. he, yeah. his energy crazy. You know what I'm saying? He a bright spirit boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, and like, like, yeah. I, I like from it. the first time I met him. Yeah. He's higher energy than me, but we have the same goal in the room. 
We want to connect dots. We want to put people with people they supposed to be around. That's what he was doing. He was like, listen, that's you got an interview thing, like this. That's the thing, Yeah, you know I mean, you, you want to connect with this person. You want boom, you right. want bang, you, you want bang. This, they bang. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's... So I'm just sitting here like just listening to him like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah. Shout out to yeah, Lovely yeah, Late yeah. Beats. When I introduced him to Lovely Late, um, and I went to the studio with them when they first met and all of that, and he got in there and just started putting her on. He's explaining stuff to her. He's telling them how they're going to roll out a song they ain't make yet. Like, he's doing everything. And then he's just good. introducing her to so, everybody, telling her where to pull up at. That's when good. I called him, because, like, I'm from, do. I'm from Nice Town, so he be doing a, uh, he be doing a Nice Town uh, fest. Yep. In the summertime or yep. whatever, and I'm, you know what I mean. I'm like, yo, man. Right, the CDC give back. The CDC give back. Yep. So, uh, I'm like, yo, man. You know, I want to do a track with you. I'm like, you know what I mean. I like, but I, I know you nice. Mm-hmm. So I want you to hear what I'm, you know, because I don't want to diminish your brand. Mm-hmm. Just because I want to, you know, do a, do a song with you. I know you, you not, you know, you nice. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, since I started rapping, I, a, a lot of people. I've been getting, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback awesome. from rapping. As you should. From rapping, the leap, the, I'm so gas station radio. Mm-hmm. I'm all about the the, you know, road certified clothing. We have a, I got a TV show on Roku TV. Mm-hmm. I actually went to, uh, more than one dispensary. I done went to people's like where they was growing. Like I can't tell Cannabis you where it's farms, at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cannabis farms and. Mm-hmm. You know, I done did sexy smoking glow episodes with um, you know, uh, Gigi and Sugar Sounds Productions, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, I done did wrestling events. That's fire. Yo, I got cannabis wrestling events. These dudes was really WWF. I'm bro, talking about bleeding and barbed everything. Barbed wire, bro, the whole community nine. is crazy. Yeah, like I'm talking about tables, whole suplex. Yeah, in the backyard. And, like, and, y'all you crazy. know. I, I know I, I got shows of this. I fuck with NA Poe, the biggest weed activist in Philly. The yeah. one that got arrested down at the Liberty Bell that time and was still blowing smoke in their face, little yeah. white boy. Yeah. Yeah, so like I've been to some shit. This shit is crazy out So here. so so what because I be going to these crazy cannabis events, mm-hmm. I then bought my camera and started a show called The Road Certified As show. As you should. So I'm I'm so focused on that that um a friend of mine, he was like, Yo, you know, get on this song with me, right? I, I do the song with him. And me and him, we 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 just like you ain't better to me. What we talking our stuff? People I'm wondering how this came about. Like yeah, me and him, we just talking our stuff to each other. Like what what? All right, what, put the, you know, give me the beat. Uh, so boom, we you know we do a this song, right? Silly, yo. uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you silly as shit, bro. So uh, boom, so we we do the track and we mm-hmm. and we put it out and when we we put it out, they, they like it. The feedback that. Bro, that shit different, dog. The feedback was crazy because I'll be at a lot of rap events mm-hmm. to try to get the rappers to come on our show. Mm-hmm. So the feedback that I was getting from the rappers was like, yo, you, they, who you talking about? I'm like, talk, talking yeah. about, I ain't talking about nobody. You had, you had uh, people in their feelings. Rappers for, for think no everybody reason. talking about them. You, yeah. For no reason. First song, and I'm talking about you. They like, yo, I'm come talking about on. people hit my DM. Come on. Yo, you talking about me on that job? Oh, come on. I you said, first off, you 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 like it? You listen to that job? <laughs> okay, that job hot. Like I was I was I was proud. I'm gonna tell you a secret. If you pay attention to artists, they always drop shit like around their birthday. Okay. Because like it's one thing to get birthday love. It's something completely different when you put out a project or a single or a visual or something and you get feedback from that. And the birthday love. Like, it's a whole... They have two different feelings. And I had a visual. You know what I'm saying? Because one is like, people think they got to tell me happy birthday. Yeah. The other one is a re- is a direct re- right. um, reflection of your art. You see what I'm saying? And what you've done. Right. And that shit feel different, yo. Well, so, so, I'm going to give you another one. So, all right. So, now, my you know, my guy, he like, yo, we going to do more tracks. So, we do more tracks. So, we performing one time. And I'm performing this song that we got. And as I'm performing the song, I'm look. I, I was in frozen time, as people moving around and. Yep, been there. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So, I I ain't never had that happen before. So I'm just like, and I'm I'm doing my song, but I'm I was froze. I was like, wow, like. Mm-hmm. 
man, this this is you know what I mean. This is this is crazy. They they actually they actually singing the song. That's what made me start doing crazy shit. Like I used to jump off of every stage damn near except Chuck Alibis because that shit too fucking high. Before they put the railing up, that shit was too high. Yeah. But like I would get in in my mode and be like, I can do what the fuck I want up here. Like it's crazy. Like. Let's turn let's turn it up a little bit so, more. So boom, I kept on, kept on, you know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. So by the time I got to to uh to you know to Sun and Two One Five, it was like, hey, what's up? Boom, I, I let him hear the so beat. So you play him. I let him. I let him hear the beat. Mm-hmm. Cause Lady Steph, she, she picked pro- the beat. So she you produces, it. She produces you my music. You made the damn beat. Yes. So when her when she would lay Steph. beats, we got the queens. Yeah, she do everything behind the scenes. I'm here to support and make sure that everything. Goes so shots fired is 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 produced by her. Oh my goodness, bro! Yes, we want to be successful. Yes, and, um, I, I, whatever it takes. Ninety percent of the music that I that's on my Instagram that I do is produced by her because she's. I I just want to do it because it's her beat. That's what it's all about to me. It's it's not about me rapping like, like to music. try to do no rap career. She got beats. And when I get high and I think of dope ideas to him, and then boom. Well, see, ad libs. It's funny because you make everything sound matter of fact. You was about to say something. I said, "Oh no, no, I sing ad libs. I add on, you know." No, you've been ad libbing the whole pot. <laughs> you are hilarious. But um, so I see why you do that. Because <laughs> he gonna be mad as somebody. You gonna turn it up. But um, it's just funny because you say a lot of stuff like it's matter of fact, and it's like, but it makes so much sense. Like, all right, for instance. Once you start a radio show, you don't necessarily consider yourself media. But in this city, if you do it right, you're media. Yeah. Once you become media, that's all encompassing. Now you on red carpets. Now you hosting shit. Now you getting behind the scenes um, interviews. Now you doing all type of, you know what I mean? Green yes. room shit. Yes. Like, it just happens it so just, fast. It just ha- and it then does. It you does. say, well, shit, music. You've already been standing in front of everybody and putting yourself out there and being on camera and being on microphone and shit in rooms where 90% of the room doesn't have that responsibility, right? Now, you still got a fucking voice and a message. You still have a presence. You still have connections. So that just ties in to you pushing the, the shit forward. And then on top of that, she's the producer. So now we get to tell people she dope. Yeah. Like, it just makes, like, you say it like it's so matter of fact, but, like, you're in a blessed position, bro. Y'all both yes. are. Thank Y'all you. both are. And I, I love it. And I know, you know, we've been talking a while, and we could have went through the trials and tribulations, but we could do that another time, too. Yeah. But, y'all, it ain't all roses, right? but I no, love man. y'all garden. Thank you. Yeah. I love y'all Thank garden, you and I'm it. saying that because y'all, y'all, y'all roll so defy. So I, I yeah, had to make man. a flower and now, you, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, Let me see what I did there. I'm a rapper a little bit. I'm a rapper a little bit. <laughs> Look, then hold on. Then you said, uh, <laughs> you said cash. So when we started our, our podcast, I love cash. I see cash he was the first, much. he was yeah. the first person, he was the first rapper that like responded back to me. Like, yeah, cash I do that, John. And, yep. and, and I came to his studio mm-hmm. and, you know, recorded him. He gave us crazy free, and I he was he's he's one of he's one of the first people that I did the road certified show with. Dope, dope. So shout out my guy, man. When I had the he's beat, guy. I was yeah. when I you know that beat. I'm like, yo, shout out my guy, Iceman Beats. Um, I was like, yo, this beat hot. I can't put anybody on. I can't just put anybody on it. Mm-hmm. And I he came across my thing. I was like. It's my man. Mm-hmm. Yo, what's up? Boom, boom. I got the studio time. I got whatever you, whatever your charges and da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Uh, he go to beat. Mm-hmm. I, I I spit to him what I was what I was saying because he hot. Niggas don't realize like he, he a, hot. He's a dope battle rapper, but he can rap. No, he hot. I know. He, he's a dope battle rapper because he can rap. I know. Like, like I, I think people get it confused because he posts the battle like, shit all the time. My boy I can knew rap. him before he decided to the do that. Rap. Yeah, but I think people get it confused. So I just wanted to be clear. Yes. So while we speaking on my boy, right. y'all see them clips he posts? Yeah. But, no, but them he rappers, nice. he bring it. And yeah. he got personality and energy. Right. It's dope. So, listen, he, let me tell you how he brought that crazy personality to that, to that track because... He left out a part where he had to call his girl up. His wife. Where she had to say a little voice part to add into the joint, to add a little spaz to the yeah, joint. Because he's always animated. Everything has yes. to be extra. 
Well, he did that. Yeah. And but it worked, though. It worked because it, it made no, the song. When I say extra, I mean like. In a good way. Yeah, because like be all the way creative. Yeah. Don't don't just, you know, sometimes I, I fought myself for that sometimes. I'd be like, I don't even be thinking of shit like that. You know what yeah. I mean? I'd be so, get the verse done real quick, get in there and make sure it sound right. And then I'm like, what y'all want to do? Right. You know what I mean? When I, I should be like expanding even in the process well, he, of he, the writing and laying ran, part. Right. He ran Sometimes, that sometimes. Because I usually bust around something anyway. But go ahead. He ran that, John. And it was, you know, like, a, and at the same time, you know, shout out my guy, Ant. Uh, we run the streets. Mm-hmm. I know Ant. He shot that video at the same mm-hmm. time while we was in the studio. Okay. So so everything I do, I do a video. As you should. Well, our can we got heavy heavy cannabis content. Even if it's just a document, you should. Yeah. So every time I go in the studio and I do a track, the video is coming within seventy two forty eight hours. Okay. Because I pay for it in, in advance. I'm, yo, I'm going to studio later this track. Yo, boom boom set up boom boom. Alright, yeah, boom. Alright, honey, go to deposit. Bang bang bang. I grew up on the video. Mm-hmm. And what I try to tell the artists is, yo, y'all got a lot of dope tracks, which y'all ain't like, even pay for the visual. Like, y'all need right. some type of cameraman. Mm-hmm. You All know right. what I mean? You, you know, instead of buying them Jordans that week, take that $200 and, mm-hmm. and spend it on the video. You know what else I tell them when they up and coming? Attack the clearance rack. Facts. Just grab pieces. Yeah. $7 shirt here, $10 Cargo's yeah. head, whatever yeah. the fuck yeah. have you. Yeah. Cause you always gonna have to put a look together. And if you yeah. fly, fly don't come at a price. It comes. Yeah. <laughs> I look at video. I'll be looking at my video. I'll be like, all right, I wore this this time. I wore yeah. this time. I wore that this time. All right, I gotta wear something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cause now, you, now get enough of your merch, like my man and, and, and y'all. Yeah. Like that's the thing too. Yeah. yeah. Oh but no. If I, you I, don't I'm need shots, yeah. get get the cheap slacks. The the quality ones. Go yeah. to the go to the spots and go to the clearance rack. Yeah. Trust yeah. me. Don't nobody give a fuck about last year. Jeans. Don't, don't nobody care about none of that. Man. <laughs> as long as you look fresh and you, because right. if Clean. you keep giving them if a it's fresh your look, look if that's your look. You gonna buy look. what you buy anyway. Right. Exactly. Regardless of the year. Yeah. Like yes. if if you're not a Hawaiian shirt nigga, you're it, not it just gonna buy it because it's five dollars. No. But if you a Hawaiian shirt nigga, why not get the twelve dollar Hawaiian shirt to mix with the sixty dollar joint you already paid for? Listen, we from get the area. Get, get the Listen, other I'm colors from, you I'm like. I'm from Franklin right? Mills, yeah. Ross, and Marshall. I used to work in, in them stores, man. I done came up on them joints. You know what I'm saying? But that should be the smart back. with your Try dollar. That's all. Just, just be, you know, fiscally responsible. Little, 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 little. So that you can afford videos Look, and studio so time. So you can eat but and merch. That's what I'm saying. I, that's what and, you know and I mean. Merch instead of and, <laughs> instead of you know, you know Jordans come out every week. You know, How don't many buy, pairs don't buy, do you need? You, you ain't got to get this color ones. No. The ones that you bought last week, wear them in the video. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But so that's 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 kind of what I've been doing, and uh, you know, a lot of people been digging me for that because like I got when I did the video with Sunday Two One Five. Right. We shot that. And I, we recorded it in HDE Studios. Mm-hmm. Shout so, out Pop. Yeah, you know I mean, so uh, that's my guy. Shout out Pop. Shout out Mike Jones. Absolutely, Mike too. Yeah. Uh, I said, hold up, man. These rappers, they uh, they run around a lot. I ain't got time. I'm a regular nine to five guy. I ain't got time to be running down the rapper. Yeah, we shooting at HDE. Yo, camera guy, I need you at HDE. Mm-hmm. Yeah. While my man was mixing, while Mike was mixing and mastering. Mm-hmm. He was getting a video done. My man, shout out Hype City. Mm-hmm. We were shooting the video at the same time. Yeah. Right in the... Uh, boom, it's, it's, it's some looks in that studio, too, so yeah. Yep, we pulled it off. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? My my man Pop hopped in the video. Oh, okay. Love. Cause he, because, you know, it was first I came in. You yeah, paid my time. You want shooting the video? All right, had to pay. All right, huh? All right, we good. Boom. Then, Sunday 2 and 5 come through. Oh, all right, I know him. Mm-hmm. Then he knew the camera guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, I know him, too. I'm like, see, I, I, now I, I'm, love. I'm around the people that everybody, you know, now I'm around love. the rounds. No, nah, bro, not like... Super important. Like you, that's that's like I'm. St- I literally just put my head in my hands because <laughs> you just said you you. That was the that was the phrase. Like you around the people that's around. That yeah. people like being around. That yes. people trust. Yes. That people have some kind of fucking endearment for. It. Like right. that is so fucking important it's in a city like ours. Your circle, yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot of fake cities and a lot of everybody trying to get over cities. But in this city, the motherfuckers that's really working is not fucking with you unless it's a little. Oh, all right. So you, yeah, yeah. Well, he wouldn't even fuck with you if you wasn't good. 
But see, so that's what I'm saying. You see saying? what I'm saying? Right, right. So yeah. that's important. That's mob yeah. shit. Like we, so, we come from a mob. So listen, Muslim they had like a whole uptown reunion. They had like a whole town. uptown reunion in that in, in the <laughs> while I was there. I was right. I was on the outside looking oh. in from Nice Town. Even when you said hype city, I'm like these right. all folks. That's right. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. hype. So Everybody hype city. Know each other, bro. Shot my video with for Sunday Two One Five at HD. And Pop gave y'all a cameo. So now the next time so you when you certified. <laughs> <laughs> That's the son and pop. Pop got the biggest legacy in the fucking city under his belt. Yeah, man. Lineage. So, so listen, I, I'm like, what he, are we talking about? He be doing the dope events in there too, you know. Yeah. 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 So I've sh- I've shot episodes of my Roku TV show in there. In there, dope, dope, yeah. dope, dope. I did the uh, the what was that? The, the one of the sexy smoking glow joints with Gigi. You I like how that. you move, man. You, you you real smart, but like I said, you make it all sound matter of effect. But it probably sounds matter of fact because you are intelligent enough to understand that these just just shit that got to be done. Yeah. It's just shit that's happening. I like doing business with people that's doing business. That's what I always said. I've been saying that for twenty years in this city. I like doing business with, with people with that's people doing that's business. doing business. Yeah, you doing business. Okay, I like your business. You like let's if if my business and your business can connect, then let's 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 do business. You know what I learned from the streets, yo, which kind of prepared me for the industry. Yes, everybody will hype you up, but nine out of ten niggas that told me it was go time, when it was time to come back to the table, they weren't really going as hard as oh, I was no, going. No, I got I got one for you. I got one for so you. So I stopped. I I don't I don't even let you come. I wait this. I pick my own horses. So listen, this <laughs> you moving, we run it. That's what I learned. <laughs> so your friends and your family, whenever you de- develop your dream and your goal and whatever you want to be, mm-hmm. your friends and your family, those people, they ain't get you. If they ain't already made you rich, mm. then they can't get you rich. Mm, 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 mm. Every person, every, every position that I'm in and everywhere that I'm going in life, it's from a stranger that I walked up to, introduced myself to, told them who I was and what I was about, how I do business and how they do business. We connected and and moved forward. And you know what's crazy? No it's family, crazy. I'm a, no friends. I'm so a, I'm not afraid to meet meet people. Let me rephrase that. You know what's real? Talk to entrepreneurs and artists and stuff all the time up here, right? Mm-hmm. That stands true to most of their stories. You see what I'm saying? There's a few. You know, you get some some people get lucky. Sometimes you grew up with Wu Tang. Or right, with the with the right. or with the guy that knows everybody so we can have a Wu Tang. No. But once you become an adult, yo, no. and you ain't got there already, then yeah, a lot of this is coming from out quote unquote outsiders. So check this out. But you, they the ones with the inside information y'all ain't got because we doing business. So they not outsiders in my realm. You my you you we we the same right? age. Mm-hmm. Bronx tell. Mm-hmm. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck, bro. Nobody cares. But I think that, I think that's a facade, and I'm gonna tell you why. I think that acting like you don't care is a comfort zone for a lot of people. But ultimately, most of this country fucking depressed because they give a fuck about shit they're not willing to own up to. No, learn who to share your your griefs with. Well, I don't share my griefs. No, that's what I'm saying. Part of my see, fucking problem. Well, see, this is what I'm saying. I, if I'm upset or whatever, I have somebody I can talk no, to. No, and I mind you, I vent. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't I do somebody. it. In, I don't really do it in real time. You, no, you got it. So listen. See, that's that's where I fuck up at. You. So I learned something. If 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 me and her have a disagreement. I speak on it right then and there. You know why? No, because I know I lay with this person. My we griefs, can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. My griefs, can't go my on. griefs are not relationship based. No, I'm just using that as an example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if me and you got a me and you got a problem, like now, like me and you cool now. Mm-hmm, absolutely. So now, if there's a in the future, if there's a disagreement between me and you because I'm on your show, I f- I'm gonna feel like yo, not oh no Instagram. No, in life, in real Me and you life. Let's smoke, unless. How about to say they can pull up? Right. Yeah, and let's drink and let's face. talk about right. because obviously there's a miscommunication somewhere. Because mm-hmm. I mean, you know, ill will, and neither do you, me. 
Exactly. Mm -hmm. See, when you mean someone no ill, then there's a miscommunication somewhere. And all you got to do is roll some weed up or something and sit down and talk about it. You're going to figure out what... All right, my bad, bro. All right, you know what? All right, well, then look. When, if you're going to go that way, boom, bang. All right, if I go this way, I'm going to respect how you... However the situation mm -hmm. is, and then it's right. all good. Yeah. It's no. really that. And, and see, like, people will say that that's optimistic, but at the end of the day, we men, right? And I hate to make it about that, but like you say... We understand our place. We understand how we present. We understand how things can come across and how things can get misconstrued. Yes. At some point, it becomes your job to either deal with it or don't. Or don't. Not to drag it out. Dragging it out is weird. That's weird. Deal with it or don't. Sometimes you get to the point where it's not worth a conversation no more. It's not worth a conversation no more. That's fine. Let it be fine. <laughs> we have a disagreement, right? Right. You live your life that way. And I'm going to live my life this way. And, and I this, can still wish you the best. And I can still wish you the best. Or not, but I don't wish you no harm. I don't wish right. you no harm. Right. Because if I wish that, I could make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. And still be in my house rolling the blood while it's going on. Right. But, they, but, but, but check this out. Check this out. You could be talking to somebody that they could they could feel the same way and have the same capabilities. Right? Nine times out of ten, if, if you're giving it your energy and you're thorough, they probably can Right, so 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 because this, you don't even associate on that level with people right. that's that far. Right, away. so 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 you got two you got two certified gangsters. You know what I'm saying? That boom, well, you know what, what I mean? Say if you was the man like you say you was the man, yeah. we'd have been bumped heads. So like we both could we both could do it, but you know what? <laughs> What's the point? Right. That's what we got. Because with great power comes great responsibility. Well, I say too much is given. Much is required. Much is required. And also, like, you know, the whole ignorance is bliss is based on the fact that with knowledge comes responsibility. You're responsible once you know shit. They can't pass a law if the if the if if, if a percentage of the population is not aware of the law, it's not really a law yet. Right. You see what I'm saying? And that's old school shit because now everything will go viral. But back in the day when it was word of mouth and telegram yeah, and town to town, city to city, if everybody ain't know about it, well, what the fuck was it? You have to communicate, man. Yo, check yeah. this out. You know what I, yeah. I, I, I point to? New Orleans. They had cash money, and they had no limit. Which is... Yeah. I know where you're going. Go ahead. Check this I'm out. I'm going to let you go there, because I, I just got emotional. <laughs> check this out, right? <laughs> Baby and Master P. You never Jeez. seen them two in the same room. Slum and P. You never seen Master P and Baby in the same room. But you never hear them two eat, talk ill will to, if, of each other eat either. They both from the same city. They both mega millionaires. <laughs> both in the, you know what I'm saying? Both from the, both from, the, they were, they both from projects that didn't like each other. That's the reason. Now, I'm going to tell you what, what the difference is with them. They're from a town that's not represented at the time, Right. Mm -hmm. If they was from Philly, they'd have been beefing on wax. Okay. Because they'd have took that part for granted. There's still a little piece of you, like currency floated through every label. He was Soldier Slim Young Boy. Yeah. He just signed to both labels. <laughs> yes, right, right. You right, see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So right. it's like we all got a cousin in that project and yeah. I, we just wanna see the city eat. We wanna see them eat. Right. There's there's a there's a dollar day and the Thanksgiving giveaway and the backpack giveaway going on. Right, over. right, right. Like we gotta see that. But once you get to the point where everybody in your city nice and everybody been mm. on before, mm, yeah. Look at the cities that's beefing with each other, bro, publicly. And for a long time, Atlanta was beefing in private, and they was proud of that. They was like, all oh, y'all get along. They was like, no. Nah. Everybody knew what was going on with what's going on now yeah. in the courtroom. Yeah. That was down there. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was happening because you could still take that for granted. Yeah. When you in a situation like Memphis, look at Memphis. Mm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. For that shit that happened to Dolph didn't happen because of Gotti. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because even as much as these motherfuckers don't get along and they say I hate that side, feed them fucking kids. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody else can do it. Right. We can name five people from our town that's done it in the last 30 years. Right. You start taking that shit for granted, yo. You become arrogant and then bullshit starts, yo. Right. And, you know and then the world's involved. So Nowadays, you, so now you know it's crazy. So now that I'm in this entertainment, hold business. on real quick. Yes, yes. One little nigga from Chicago has the whole world saying, "Fuck sixty third. 
He definitely did. I, I we need from to go 60, home to, we not from 63rd, <laughs> right? Do you know that's crazy? I said that, yo. J. Cole said, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. And the whole crowd said it. For real. For real. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. When my uncle that used to let me borrow the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gangster. Yeah. But these little motherfuckers got a whole nation plus dissing a block of motherfuckers that had to keep proving themselves. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah. That this is weird. Well, they, well, I can honestly say that, like, cause like uh, my guy Fat Joe, he just did something. He said ninety five percent. But I like what he did, and I like why he did it. Yep. You the can't message be in Joe's behind position. when you in Joe's position, you when supposed you're, to do that. Be, I I was about to say not not because of how long he's been in the game, but yes. because of the role that he's assumed yes. based on his personality. Yes, at, at the position that he is in, right. what he said and how he said it and why he said it. Too much is given, much is required. He jumped in the middle of the Puerto Rican black hip hop nigga conversation too. Yeah. Let's not forget, like yes. he's consistent. Yeah. He's consistent. Yeah. He gonna put himself on the line. But I like to have a conversation. I, I like what he did. I love because it because now it, it created convo. You know what I mean? Like they, they had the locks talking about it, and the guy mm-hmm. he was like, "Come on, man, I ain't shoot." You know what I mean, like we just it's she, art. She said it. She right. said. She said, "Man, niggas it's get art. older. You realize they ain't killer, honey. I ain't shoot a hundred motherfuckers." Right, like, you know what I'm saying? is You know what I mean? So y'all can't, you know, but when you coming up, but 30 you got... But niggas, 30 niggas battled me still because that was a real story. Right, see what I'm saying? <laughs> Styles really got jumped by 30 niggas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so when you growing up... He recorded that verse with a puffy face. Where, uh, <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you writing raps, they say you got to be what you sing, right? It's not fair. Right. It's not fair. The scariest, my scariest, I've been in hip hop. When the when the house was running house, I was the kid rocking shells. I've been in hip hop from day one, bro, as far as I can remember. When you had to be gangster to be hip hop yeah. was the scariest 10 years yeah. of my fucking life. So I artistically. Even, so so what I'ma say is that's that's probably why somebody like me probably sold Damn drugs what? in the first place. You see what I'm saying? But, because as an older dude... But they would say that you're considered weak-minded, and that's not fair. Because yeah, there's nothing weak about you. Yeah. But I'm... You, like I, you know that the whole product... Get, now that you've grown... I got it on at, my arm somewhere. Product at, of my environment. All that stuff that you <laughs> that you did mm-hmm. that that people glorify and say is cool, it, it was stupid. It's corny. And corny. And if you took that time and that you put into that, if you put it into something that. else, people could have been millionaires and stuff. I mean, we got we have examples. We have P's, we have Jay Z's, we have Ti's. We have examples of what you could do if you dedicate your energy. And because back. those dudes did it, that they that's why I probably can quote so many of that man's rhymes. Absolutely. Now I used to joke with people, and I used to be like, if Styles P is your favorite rapper, your second favorite rapper should be Barney. Because Styles, if you're not doing anything positive, Styles will put you back then in such then, a dark place listen, where it was all about smoking weed, stabbing niggas, and robbing niggas. I'm from, like it was bad. Yo. I'm, from, I'm from I'm from Nice Town. Am I lying? My block is named D Block. If you come to Nice Town, <laughs> if you come to D Nice D-block. Town, the D Block boys. I know D Block and Nice Town. That's me. That's y'all. That's crazy, yo. Germantown and Dalton Street. That's a mentality that existed we was, in we, the music. We we was. all we listened to was Siegel. You know, we listened to State Property, Chris and Neef, of course, because I'm from Nice Town. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And we listened to the Locks. Holiday is still one of my favorite songs ever. You see what I'm saying? I remember the first so, time I heard Holiday. You know, you you listening to the Locks and then you come outside. And it's, and it's grimy out there. It's grimy out there. Yeah. You know, I was I was around with Mayor Street when they did Sunrise. You know what I mean? The cops was everywhere. They was I just popping talking out about everything. Operation Safe Streets and all Safe that. Safe Streets and all that. Bro, you couldn't buy White weed White cops in the hood. and all that. You couldn't buy weed in the hood. It was weird. They was everywhere. They was in front of the poppy store, in front everywhere. of the Chinese store. They was in the everywhere. middle of your block. They would be standing in the middle of your block. In the middle of the block. They was everywhere. One cop just standing there and let you kick a bike cop bike. The whole district is on the way. So look, I learned. So look. So whole fucking district. So look. We used, no, because they protect the bike cops and the foot cops. They so, to. so they used to try to get people with 
a discharge, it was called obstruction of the highway. Oh, because yep. you were in the way. You were so, beaten. Double parking. And no, if you was, no. So, you know, when you walking down most blocks, right, you got two squares. Right. So, the first square, you can't stand in that square. That's the square people got to walk, whatever. So, whenever the bike cops used to come, we used to all put our backs up against the wall. Mm-hmm. Because if somebody was standing they would fuck with in you. that square... Guaranteed to fuck with They you. would cuff him and say, the, and the charge was you was obstruction of the highway. And now they're going to search you too. Anyway, but. um, Listen, listen, I got charged with um, non proprietary. So I go to the lawyer, I says, what does this mean? Watch what this means, bro. I'm, I don't know what that means, bro. I'm out, to, I'm out to school you. Everybody I know had a case. Okay, so this is yours. This is yours, right? Uh-huh. This is yours. Uh-huh. I'm going to put it right here. Uh-huh. Because that is where I can grab it legally, that is mine. Oh, no, I've heard of that. I didn't know it was called non-proprietary. That's what it's called. It's called non-proprietary. No, I know what you're talking about. That's crazy, though. That's what the lawyer told me same. when I was at the when it's I went to see the lady. It's basically the same. You thing possess that. something that you don't possess. It's what they do when you're in a car. If you're in a car and the shit is closer to you, and nobody claim it, it's the same shit. Anyway, <laughs> I done had a ball with y'all, and y'all ain't gotta go nowhere. But we gotta wrap this up. Well, listen, uh, no man, that's because you got the weed. We had the drinks. Uh, thank you for your time. <laughs> You I'm like, know. he just start blaming me for shit. What happened? No, we was just going, but no, thank you for no, your time. No, we super good. Um, you know, gas station radio. Uh-huh. Every Thursday, 7 to 9, 98.5 FM. Um, you, you know, online music box, Alexa. Dope, dope, dope. Now, I'm going to tell you a secret. Right when I was about to start making her talk, she said, again, I'm just here to support and back him up. And <laughs> I was like, ah. I'm just about to get you with some questions, but anything else you need to say and tell the people how to keep up with you before we get out uh, well, I, I do got need my you to guess do that. facts shirt Thank on. You. So, you. you know, yeah. in addition to being on the radio show, I do cannabis education. So if you want to know about your favorite strand, check me out. I do Heavy. snippets about it to tell you Heavy. how it impacts you medicinally, uh, whether it's sativa or indica or hybrid, whether Fire. you should consume it as a concentrate or if it's better as a topical, or maybe Ooh. it should be an edible instead of you Ooh. burning it in flour. So Ooh. that's the kind of stuff that you into. Heavy. Check me out. I do it See, all the time. You know what I'm talking talk, about? So, be to chill. Um, you know, I like cannabis. That's my thing. So if you got any questions. That's why she don't. Now, holler. so like you take requests for that. Uh, yeah, if somebody, you want. Yeah. Somebody say, yo, I, is this real or what's this? And Facts. And you'd be like. Let me look into it, and you might they might can get a little uh, Abs- snippet. Absolutely. That's Absolutely, fire. yeah. Especially yeah. for your grandma and your auntie. You know, you might not want her smoking. She may be paranoid. She may be better off with some gummies. Yeah. You got to start them off small. You can't give your auntie no no uh, cereal square this no. big. And then be like, all right, I'm out. She going to hate you, and she never going to do it again. Yo, she going to be paranoid she's for a week. She's not going to do it again, man. You know what I'm saying? When you could have just gave her, you know, a little bag of chips. Take one or two. Don't, don't overdo it. A little bag know. of chips. Then she could close it and come back later, right? Resillable bag. There you go. So you got options. Microdose. Yeah, you ain't got to be out here in the corner looking like you dead and what's dehydrated. Your, what's your opinion on um, microdose with the mushrooms? Yes. I am, I am, I am pro for it. I am, I am so pro for it. I like her. mushrooms. Said, yes. I, I like I mushrooms. That. They They make you more... Of the you, you should be on a daily basis. And Talk you give it. the answers you really want to give outside yourself. Whereas though with weed, you decide internally. Trust you me, have I'm whole sure conversations. But with mushrooms, you'd be like, how did you feel? Well, how I really felt was, I don't like your ass and you getting on my nerves. But we good though. And then go right back to your whatever you, you was doing. Better. No sweat off your back. <laughs> I love but her, you, yo. But you got it out though, right? You know, I ain't trying to hurt your feelings, but this is how I feel. Yo, you are and this is where I'm going with it, so... All right. It. So see, I ain't <laughs> even had to answer the question. We, y'all got the personality. <laughs> y'all see, she knowledgeable. She does not just hold the pom pom. She is on in the field. But, yeah, um, yeah, the um, living scientists. Yes. Uh, I love yes. it. I love it. I love it. And I appreciate y'all. And on that note, man, um, shout happens. out to Rich Jules. Yeah.
This is Sippin' with Sammy. I am Mr. Flash and only the one and only Sippin' with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sippin' with Sammy, you ain't sippin' right. Please get your fucking life Thank together. You. This a heads up, I came to get my bread up I ain't deviating for shit, homie I'm fed up I ain't flipped out in the bit, kept my head up Nose clean, toes down, businessmen become foes now Shark tank, dog eat dog, bet they know now The Puma nigga with long hair, with throw down Time to go now, been told y'all, let's talk about it Try to settle down, tip, fuck it, I'm back to drown shit Heavy talk, so come heavy, you're not around here And this wherever, fuck where I'm at from down here, I'm an angel, I was fumbled from heaven, ain't no how Your chick, bless me, I'm earth blessing, it's going down Tired of nights, stressing by how to get you to listen Pick a side, ride or die, I'm on a mission Cousin, I'm a chef, ain't tripping by hell's kitchen I drink like a fish, no ocean too deep to swim and I'm out here I was down, you called it winning, short sighted motherfucker It's like, my life's different, plenty nights, them lights shimmered Upgraded the will, treat them lights different While chief it tonight's is a rock Heads up! Heads up! We living cognac, toasting and bitten. Yeah. Laugh at shit that ain't funny. My happiness ain't, ain't money. Uh. Nothing short of a box and cage could take it from me. Yeah. I get back phenomenal. Come up, astronomical. I'm the one they whisper about and try to outdo. Yeah. Whole world wanna sit with Sammy, not you. Yeah. I'm checking for checks. I hated you, not true. My eyes up to the sky. 